Hi friends, welcome to my Ohm Electronics channel. Today I will discuss about 24 volt 1 ampere DC variable power supply using LM317. So this is the block diagram of the 24 volt 1 ampere variable DC power supply. For stepping down the 230 volt AC, a 24 volt 1 ampere transformer is taken. For rectification purpose, I have used a bridge IC and in this position, we are getting a voltage 24 volt into 1.141 that is 27 volt pulsating DC. A capacitor of 2250 volt is connected be between the output terminal of the rectification circuit for smoothing purpose or filter circuit. For voltage regulation, LM317 is connected in parallel to the smoothing capacitor. Up to smoothing circuit or filter circuit, this is the common circuit for all power supply. Here LM317 IC has a 3 pins. This is the pin number 1, 2 and 3. Here LM317 is used for the voltage regulation. Pin number 1 that is adjust pin and pin number 2 output pin and pin number 3 input pin. The input pin where maximum 40 volt DC can be supplied and the output pin which provides output voltage in range of 1.25 voltage to 37 volt and the adjust pin which is used to vary the output voltage corresponding to the applied input voltage. So for input up to 40 volt, the output can vary from 1.25 voltage to 37 volt and regulator IC that is LM317 can draw a current up to 1.5 ampere. So this is the main circuit of the 24 volt variable DC power supply for 1 ampere. This is the transformer which is stepping down the 230 volt AC to 24 volt AC and this is the bridge IC and this is the filter circuit the value of this capacitor is 2200 microfarad 50 volt and in this portion this is the voltage regulation circuit here capacitor C1 that is 0 0.1 microfarad is not required but is recommended particularly if the regulator is not in close proximity to the power supply filter capacitor and the output capacitor that is C3 1 microfarad it is used for improve the transient response but is not needed for stability and the another capacitor that is C2 10 microfarad 63 volt is used to improve the ripple rejection it prevents amplification of the ripple as the output voltage is adjusted higher. If the input is sorted to ground during fault condition protection diode that is D1 provides measure to prevent the possibility of the external capacitor discharging through a low impedance path in this IC. D1 diode D1 and D2 prevent the capacitor from discharging discharging into the output of the regulator and here the voltage divider circuit has a programming register which has a fixed register that is R1 and the another is variable resistance that is R2. By setting a perfect ratio of feedback register that is fixed register and variable registers desire the output voltage. The LM317 
provides a stable reference voltage 1.25 across the adjustment pin. This means there is a constant voltage drop across the R1. The current at adjustment pin is also constant and the range of, the, of this current is 50 microampere to 100 microampere. Therefore, a constant current flows through the resistance R1 and R2. The LM317 provides a minimum load current 10 milliampere. Hence, to maintain a constant reference voltage 1.25 volt, the minimum value of feedback resistance is R1 is 1.25 by I mean that is 1.25 by 0 0.01 that is 125 ohm. The range of the range of the variable resistance R1 is 125 ohm to 1000 ohm. And the typical value of R1 is 222 ohm to 240 ohm for better stability. By using the formula that is output voltage V out is equal to V reference V reference that is 1.25 between these two terminal that is V reference into 1 plus R2 by R1 plus I A D G J into R2 here in this current that is I A D J is typically 50 microampere, so it is negligible. So V output voltage is equal to V reference into 1 plus R2 by R1. For, by using in this equation, we have we have to calculate the value of the resistance R2. Now I will check practically. So this is the main power supply. This is the filter capacitor. Value of this capacitor 2200 microfarad 50 volt. And this is the regulator IC that is LM317. And the, this is the bridge IC. And this is the R1 and R2 resistance that is 5k variable resistance and this is the output terminal positive terminal this is the positive terminal this is the negative terminal first we measure the output voltage without load so in this multimeter measure the output voltage with no load condition now switch on the circuit so this is the maximum position of this potentiometer this is the maximum voltage now change this position of this potentiometer so voltage will be changed. Now this is the minimum position of this potentiometer and the voltage is 1.23 that is the V reference voltage minimum voltage 1.23 or 24 voltage. So we can vary the output voltage DC output voltage 1.23 or 24 to maximum voltage that is 24 volt now 
we measure the output voltage with load here i have used a load resistance 10k variable load resistance this is the 10k pot first we adjust the minimum position minimum value of this resistance so minimum position of this potentiometer the resistance so near about 1k and now the resistance of this potentiometer is 2 2 to 6 or 2 to 5 so this is the minimum resistance now i will connect with the output of this power supply as a load load resistance so this is the output terminal now this is the minimum position of this potentiometer and value of this load load resistance is 224 ohm and now we will check the output voltage so switch on the circuit So this is the output voltage, we are getting the output voltage, load voltage that is 24.0 volt. So when the minimum resistance, load resistance that is 224 ohm resistance, then we are getting the output voltage 24 volt. Now increase the resistance value load resistance value so now we are getting the output voltage 24.2 volt so when we apply the minimum load resistance value that is 224 the output voltage is 24 volt and when we apply the load resistance value the maximum value that is 10k then the we are getting the output voltage load voltage that is 24.2 now in this position the potentiometer resistance is maximum that is 10k ohm resistance so we see that in this position the output voltage is 24.1 volt so when we apply the minimum load resistance that is 224 ohm resistance the voltage will voltage is 24 volt again when we apply the maximum load resistance that is 10k and then we are getting the output voltage 24 volt approximately 24 volt so in this power supply we see that the different load when we apply so always we are getting a constant output voltage so we can say that the power supply run accurately